the more head-on shot of Bigfoot. L.A. Bigfoot in the Angeles National Forest. And I don't it's know. It's an agile, agile creature for its size. And one of these shots, I was, I think it was the last one, the episode before this that related to Los Angeles, would made would made a good desktop shot, one of the stills from there, because it's kind of turned the same way, the three quarter angle that Bigfoot in the Patterson Gimlin film, and it looks really awesome. Well, there's been a few that I like would like for the desktop, but maybe only one, and this one wouldn't be it for me. Uh, no, I think that previous episode did this. If you can see the previous episode that related to Bigfoot, we, we post these, we layer them in Georgia Bigfoot, Texas Bigfoot, different Bigfoots, but the one, the one in Los Angeles pre prior to this was an awesome one. And we're talking about the feral animals. You know, Bigfoot is not a feral animal. Bigfoot belongs in Los Angeles or... You think Bigfoot belongs in Los Angeles? Bigfoot likely predated humans. So I would say Bigfoot... So this is... They're just in their normal, everyday territory. This belongs to them. We're the invaders. Well, you're saying Callista Flockhart is, a, is the invader. Callista Flockhart is the invader. Because she's into Bigfoot? She's... A Bigfoot supporter. Okay, then Harrison Ford and Calista Flockhart are both Bigfoot supporters. But they didn't, you know, Bigfoot uh, has been here long, long before. Long before anybody else. Well, put it this way. We know for a fact that Bigfoot's been here longer than Europeans. We don't know if Bigfoot has been here longer than Native Americans, but we suspect they have. And this is their migratory route. Bigfoot could be Mexican. And Bigfoot, well, Bigfoot definitely has, uh, goes as Canadian and Mexican and uh, American, uh, United States, Ian. Um, Claiming all three countries. Right. No, it's, there's no doubt about it that Bigfoot has been spotted in Mexico. And King. numerous states. Yeah, oh, yes, numerous states. And we've even recorded a lot of them, including Texas, which is... That's the scrappy. That's the mean. That's the vicious. That's the bloodthirsty. When you want to talk about a Bigfoot that's not a vegetarian, you refer to Texas. Right. And that's like the one that will break a back of a caribou if it's given the chance. Now, California. Break a back of anything. Yeah, you, Feral snakes. You can't. Uh, even tr even trackers have to be on the, the lookout. They or better be on the lookout. Be, beware. Now, California Bigfoot, you give a little more leeway. You know? California Bigfoot, when you're talking vegetarian, that's what we're talking about. Fruits and nuts. No, I wouldn't. Well, we, don't, we don't know that specifically. I think they're probably. I'm going to make that assumption. Well, they're probably an omnivore, but, but they don't have like a. Uh, some, an, uh, there's no. There's no reason to be afraid of a California Bigfoot. Well, there's no stories of a viciousness with a California no, Bigfoot. No, it's in harmony with nature. Just everybody's good in California. Just relax, take it well, easy. Well, that's what that's how people are perceived, and we don't know that. Have a picnic lunch on the Pacific Crest Trail and wave and say hi to Bigfoot. No, I, 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 I'm in not going that far at all. I'm not I am. That, I'm, not I'm saying in California, take it easy. Just don't, just relax. All I'm saying is just beware the te of the Texas Bigfoot and also be wary well, of well, every we've Bigfoot. established to be, wear, uh, be, be very aware the Texas Bigfoot. We've established that. But I'm saying don't uh, let your guard down with the California Bigfoot. In the California, let your guard down. I'm saying... I'm recommending let your guard down. I'm re I'm, regard I'm recommending not. Well, we, we have a difference of opinion, that's all. We agree to disagree. 